Hello and welcome to Serious. Hello and welcome back to Serious Sam. So today we're gonna be doing Valley of the Kings. Yeah. Now for an even harder level. Yippee. At least in this level. We should be getting some rockets naturally. Well, that's good. Well, it's the first time we'll be getting the rocket launcher. At least naturally. Oh yeah, 40 damage, oh yeah, truly epic level design, enemies that instantly take 40 damage from you, when power up is scarce. Yeah, a white. New enemy, the Reptiloid. But there's also Biomethanoids. 
shoot me down. I'll have to, so I'll have to do a retreat. And just run away from them. Now, alright, now, those two biomechanoids are killed. Now to kill the reptile. Also, it looks like... The Marsland buddies have come to play as well. But, but at least I'm making decent progress. Actually, yeah, at least I'm making decent progress. Yeah, I murdered him. Eludron Reptiloid, common. Endurance medium, hostility high, weapons, magic homing missiles. Threat medium, large four handed reptile living in the Eludron system. The constellation of Canis Major. This primitive race has agreed to fight for mental in exchange for the spell casting powers it gave them. They cast self-propelled propelled fireballs with primitive homing miss abilities to keep them under constant fire and try to shoot down their missiles in the air. But there's also Marsland Hoppers. Okay, okay, the Marsland Hoppers did not pose that much of a threat. Well, they were pretty hard to kill, but at least they did not murder me a, a lot of times. So let's grab this ammo. Well, it's time for me to grab that ammo. 
But hopefully I get ammo for the Tommy gun or the Tommy gun itself. Because when I specifically I get the Tommy gun myself. Because when I get the Tommy gun myself, because that means I'll be getting Tommy gun ammo. Oh, it seems like when I pick some stuff up, we're spawning tons of enemies. Specifically, this armor and. Oh, yeah, this, just that armor. Right? Also, we're clear basically weaker, more mobile themes because I'm pretty sure they're faster than themes. Or the player is faster than the themes. Yeah. Basically, I'm pretty sure the player is faster than the themes. And I would get them big old weaponry to deal with them. Oh no, that. Oh. Why am I not getting it? Like. Like I'm given limited weaponry. Well, I do have the sock. Well, I do have the double barrel shotgun. But it's not even that useful for the fight. Actually, it is useful. That is a lie, but. But it's just not enough for these fights right here. Even though it. Oh, I knocked one of them out of the sky. Alright. Oh, I knocked some. Oh, I knocked some of the witch harpies out of the sky. Now that's good. And also, it seems like the armor did spawn in a couple of enemies, but not all of the enemies. It seems like some of the enemies spawned in when I go too far. 
right here. Because I don't currently have the any ammo for the Tommy gun since the Tommy gun was a secret weapon and I don't get ammo for secret weapons. Not until I actually find the weapons regularly. That's Stupid. I'm only exception is the double belt shotgun, which is oh wait. It seems like me and the Siberian rebel die at the, died at the same time. But yeah, the greatest plan is to not activate both traps at the same time because that will end up in an ultimate sword death. And if I do activate both traps at the same time, I must re reset because I will be overwhelmed by the Scythian Wit Harpies and the Kamikazes and the so Clears and the Siberian Rebels. Hopefully I can knock out some of the red harpies from out of the sky. Yeah that so that's good. Yeah. And when I do activate that Kamikaze Siberian Rebel and clear that then I suggest run away towards the starting room I probably should not go in the starting room where when the Siberian rebel is attacking me whilst I will fight one in the cramped area and that will, and that will end in disaster with me getting trapped and becoming the Siberian rebel's food I guess it's time for me to hop all the way. And oh, I guess there's clears. But they're by themselves.
Right, okay, and now they're dead. They're totally dead. Okay, thankfully that health power. Okay, thankfully that health power up for me spawned in that this dude. Which is pretty dangerous. But yeah. I can destroy his projectiles, so he's not ultimately that bad. Oh! Okay, okay. I... Okay then, I know something that will happen. So... So this is the rocket launcher. Yeah, this is the rocket launcher. This is when I naturally get it. And I'm just gonna switch to it. And yeah. Now that's some serious firepower. But when I collect that, boom. Oops. But when I collect that. Now that's some serious firepower. An Aludran reptile spawns. But this guy's bigger. Whoop. Oh man, I guess that's clears as well. But yeah, this is no, that's the some serious firepower. But yeah, this is the first box. Which I should take out. Which I should take out using the rocket handed to me. No, that's some serious firepower. He's found them in rapid success and unfortunately I died. Yeah. Now that's some serious firepower. <laughs> oh yes, they died. They they moved out. No, they, that's some serious firepower. They dodged the totem cut. They dodged the killer. Oh, he's close. Okay, now it seems like this a giant Aludran reptile no, that's is, some serious firepower. is actually has some serious firepower and is dangerous. He is. This is getting serious. 
the Aludrin. Never mind. Now that's some serious firepower. But yeah, that was the Aludwin Reptiloid Highlander. Right, so, new enemy, which is this guy I killed. Aludwin Reptiloid Highlander. A large four-handed reptile living in that Aludwin system. Are basically the same, but yeah. The Highlander race is significant significantly larger and more dangerous than the ordinary ones. Living in the plains, when furious, they cast their missiles in very quick succession, keep them under constant fire and try to shoot down their missiles in the air. You've just... N that's wrong thing. Bravo, you've killed that massive beast. I didn't, I didn't know that Aludrum met Tilloids. Could be of this size, I already saw this dead, Sam. Never cease to amaze me, your skills are almost perfect. Running through the Valley of the Kings was anything but easy. Proceed now to the Chambers of Forest to find the third element. Alright. Earned 103 enemies killed. Now that's some serious firepower. Oh god. Oh yeah. Now that's some serious firepower. But yeah, luckily the boss is not really that no, hard. Some serious firepower. Once I know what to do. But yeah. But yeah, the boss music is pretty epic. Yeah, I like the Aludrin Reptiloid Highlander no, that's fight. some serious firepower. But yeah, I murdered the Reptiloid Highlander. Without taking that much damage. Actually, I did take a couple pieces of damage. But, uh, yeah. But yeah, cold blooded reptile like, yeah, 45 feet, endurance high, hostility high, threat high, class. But yeah, perception, primitive race, weapons, magic, homing missiles. But yeah, we got 25,000 points for beating him. In an epic fight. 
Yeah. Now it's time for me to collect this element. Never mind. Swimming in the water. No, this is some. Serious battles. Oh, now these are some serious battles. Okay, new enemy, this guys. Actually, that is not their names, but, but yeah. There's this. And that's. And their electric. Should not. Oh, dude, why do they take away most of my health? But yeah, new enemy, Reben Electrofist, Endurance Low, Hostility High, Threat Medium, Muddy Waterfist, Originating from Planet Weeb, Very Aggressive uses Powerful Electric Discharges to Disorient and Damage its Prey Hard to Find Dark Waters due to their 
very efficient and they natural camouflage. This is for noises that they make in the dark. It's your best sign for danger. Hit scan enemies. Teleporting hit scan enemies. Ain't that quite lovely game design there? Shotgun is effective against them. Yeah. All right. Okay. No, 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 God for Satan. Quite damaging on me. Oh, God. Now that is a secret. Actually, no. It's not. But it is a trap.
light, so yeah. <laughs> Let's kill this fucking dude. And hopefully I get the Tommy gun. In the sore amount of time. But oh, I bet you, alright. I'm pretty sure that lowered the element. I'm back, and I'm back in the open. Okay, thank God. Like, oh, okay, so now I learned. Oh, yeah, that actually pretty weak. Also, I learned the fact that ball. Also, I. Also, I learned a useful lesson and it's to basically, if I see, if I have to do, redo this encounter, then I should just charge out and find a way out of the water. Because I will we'll probably just... Sorry, I'm miserable death. Anyway. If I don't. But yeah, Weeb and Electro Fishes are going to be pretty annoying because they're glass cannons far underwater. But now I've collected another element. But now I've collected another element called the Gold Ank. Now, and I'm pretty sorry to... But yeah, I, now 140 enemies are dead now. Well, that's pretty useful. Oh! Jesus Christ! Why did I walk up to it when it was sleeping? But now I. But now I know it's then. Arachnoid. And now I know that. And oh, that was a pretty lethal trap. And I'm pretty sure this is the only health I'm gonna get. Or that this might be a pretty big battle. Yeah, look at this hallway. Oh, eleven! Oh, levitating invisible canar. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But now there's a bunch of headless soldiers and canars.
this is this is a big old encounter with marshland hoppers. But, but it's time for me to load up this silly save again. Yeah, so it is an floating invisible banana. Alright. And why don't I have the Tommy gun again? Okay, well, I did have a new weapon, which is the rocket launcher, so I will be seeing more uh, ammo for it. And that is a good thing, because the rocket launch is pretty useful for killing hordes of monsters, or killing pretty tough monsters at far distance. Yeah, why? That fight was not good enough. Now they're dead. Oh, I accidentally destroyed one of the lights. Oh, I can actually do that? Why? Now that was just a terrible one thing.
Yeah, alright. At least I could outrun the fake beans. At least I could outrun the fake beans. And not have them just outrun me and murder me without a second four. At least I'm making um, pretty quick progress. Without any difficulties except for the first part, so far. Now I guess they're dead, so I guess all the enemies there are dead. Alright, 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 uh, but yeah, four secrets, okay. But yeah, let's go through this level. Okay, okay. Luckily, I kept shooting that arachnoid before. It could fully gal the cover that I had and just find me and just put multiple holes through me. Through me. You have passed the wall of darkness. Hell no. I'm not gonna. Path through the wall of darkness. Analyze what? Analyzing? Chambers of forest. Back find mechanism. This door is closed. We need to look for some me mechanism that will open it. On the nearby wall, I saw an ancient text which says that the answer is hidden behind the wall of darkness. Go look around. Now, clearly, this is the wall of darkness. Oh yeah, now that's where I should go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I was wondering what that sound was. 
and it's a bunch of players. So let's absolutely murder them with this. Double barrel shot gun. Yeah, now I get to pass through this wall. I actually like this level. It's not really... Actually... It is pretty hard, but... I don't know, I'm just having way more fun. So far, I haven't found them. Oh yeah, I could just jump around like mania. Never mind. Okay, now this battle, this battle. This battle is... Why, why are there so many... Headless firecrackers. Oh yeah, 8 damage per projectile that hits me.
idea how how do I do this battle? I'm pretty sure I just rush through it without kill both of the top parades without getting it. And then I'm all set from now on. Yeah, that does seem like it. And that is working out for me. But yeah, there's only a hundred and something enemies left. So yeah, so far I'm enjoying the level because there's you no know, absolutely very hard encounter that makes me angry. Just pretty difficult encounters. Come on, you ugly freak! Another one of serious action one minor. And oh, I have to. Oh, now this is. Now this seems like a pretty big fight. Yeah, this seems like a pretty big fight, which involves. Yeah, this is. This seems to be a pretty big fight involving. A couple beheaded rockers. Seriously, is that the best you can do? Uh oh. Very true line. Oh no. Alright, oh, so it seems like Alright, oh, so it seems like this fight gave out decent ammunition. Actually, it seems like this fight gave out decent health. Including some armor and some and a super health. Yeah, why didn't level 3 give out that much health? Like it was obviously going to be a big battle, so why was there no more than just 50 health when there was a bunch of clears and and oh and marshland hoppers, chambers chambers of forest, so purifying. This door is locked. According to ancient text I saw on the temple walls before entering, sacred, sacred Egyptians performed a, a ritual. They purified their souls by bathing in the holy water. Before bathing, they kneeled under the Amon statue nearby. In one of these two rooms here, I saw a pool, and maybe you should look there. Egyptian knee, kneel. Egyptians kneeled in front of the Amon statue before bathing. What? But I do not expect you to do that. You are not a fan of Egyptian gods, are you? Oh yeah.
Oh, oh, in that room. Through you. So this oh okay oh okay spikes yeah okay spikes there are spikes hidden up there that potentially twist me if I did enter before finding the script and I guess that made me kneel to the Egyptian guard because of a spike trap Oh my god, stone ank. Right. Ain't that cool. This is actually very cool. This is some seriously epic stuff. Yeah, this is... Yeah, this level is seriously epic. And finally, I got the Tommy gun. Finally, I found the Tommy gun. But it seems like I won't be exiting without a big old fight. <laughs> yep. This room. This room here. Yeah, I'm so happy I found the Tommy gun. But it seems like it's gonna be another devilish fight. But yeah, it's time for me to absolutely murder these mask poppers, right? And now that I've got the Tommy gun, this will be substantially easier. Except when there's clears around, like, look at this ugly man. Look at this ugly creature. Ugly clear looks like he was on fentanyl. Which I'm pretty sure they're large span off. But yeah, the Tommy gun is going to be hella useful towards clearing out weak enemies like the ele electric fist. Kamikazes and Mar and Marshoppers, which I am fighting against, which does demonstrate its power against the Mars and Hoppers, which is pretty cool. Also, there's a Also, there's a clear to make my life hell. More hellish than before.
spears and white or three. Oh yeah, three clear. So the ultimate goal is to just murder the Rachnoid in time. I like this fight. I like this fight. Yeah, it's actually pretty epic. Well, at least so far. But oh, 309 enemies killed. Yeah, that's quite a lot of enemies murdered. I actually liked that fight. Yeah, I actually quite enjoyed that fight because it was pretty hard, but not as hard as the double bowed shotgun fight because like there's not enough health in that room there's a lot of clear there's you don't there's moss hoppers and yeah Yeah, the double bowed shotgun fight was absolutely dreadful and horrid. Well, I've got another element back tonight. Guess I'm not done with the level. Now on to this section of the level, which I'm pretty sure there's not really a lot of combat. At least it doesn't seem like there is. And oops. But overall, this level. But yeah, overall, this level was actually very good. And I quite enjoyed my time. Well, well, that first fight was absolutely hard. Because... It basically... Well, that first area was hard because there's basically a lot of enemies. And 
And yeah, the Tomb of Ramses was hard because solely because of the double bowed shotgun fight. Yeah, the, I mean, the Tomb of Ramses was even more harder due to the double bowed shotgun fight. But yeah, but yeah, there's only one more element to collect, the water element. Water from the underground state stream is pushing us through the mountain tunnel. The research soon reaches the exit. If I'm not mistaken, we will be thrown into the oasis. If so, our objective will be very close. Enter the swan, enter the swine belt on this oasis and find the water element. Why? Why? Okay. And immediately a fire squad is just trying to fill me with bullets. Actually just a single adult arachnoid. But yeah. But yeah, that was an ultimate fail. Oh, 160. Oh, no, not 160 something enemies, but 695 enemies. Jesus Christ. What the hell is this map? And oh, look. Now that will avoid now that will avoid the mess overs. Oh, there's some reptiloids. But thank god for the Tommy Guns because that can instantly clear out these reptiloids. Or and their projectiles. No, two biometric weeds, boy. Oh my god! And I accidentally walked. Oh, and I accidentally exploded myself with a palm tree. Oh 
Dude, I hate these guys. They're quite annoying. Oh God's sake! This seems to be a difficulty spike or something. Like the difficulty is like messed up. What the hell was that? Oh, 
Is this falling? Dude! Dude! Oh my! Also, what? Why? Also, why did the enemy count jump to nearly 700? Why? I was expecting us steady rise in enemy count I'm pretty sure I saw a bit of gameplay on this. On a playthrough, we yeah, saw a bit of gameplay on this. But yeah. Oh, now I'm kind of. Oh, I now I'm kind of, kind of getting the hang of this level. Well, this area. Like I get the point. It's basically like each power slowly and individually. Well, so I might get murdered, absolutely murdered. Huh? <laughs> 
No, that's good. Yeah. Alright, so I actually just realised what to do in this fight. And yeah. Alright. Now I'm quite ready for this. Thanks for summoning a bunch of clears. Destroy these stupid palm trees that will probably make me die.
Like, I hope you like this episode. Goodbye. Yeah, bye.